Welcome back to a new video and today let's do something different. We haven't done a platform video for a while and I often get questions about MetaTrader so let's do that as well and let's talk a little bit about MetaTrader. I want to show you a few tips and things that most people don't know about MetaTrader which can help you improve the way you use your charting platform and it's always good to know where all the things are and how to organize yourself. So starting out, you can see uh, this is the general uh, MetaTrader 4. We have a few um, charts here at the bottom. And how do you get this all nicely organized? Here, this is the tile um, button. You click on it and you can see now we have everything nicely organized. Um, you can just hide one and then now we get the three organized very nicely. And this is a very good way of staying on top of things. Under window, you can see we have different ways of organizing or tiling our uh, windows and charts. So that is also an option um, depending on how you want to organize your charts. The next thing that is important to know and can help you improve or manage the way you use MetaTrader is uh, by using profiles. Profiles are different ways of um, having charts um, separated. So for example, here is the profile area. And you can see this is the default um, profile. Here we do have the Euro US dollar, New Zealand Swissy, US CAD, and the New Zealand US dollar. And I have here a um, profile with the British pound. And you can see here only British pound, the one hour, the four hour, and the daily. And you can see this is a nice way of um, keeping your things separate, having different um, profiles for different currencies, for example or depending on how you want to organize yourself, this is then done through the uh, uh, profiles and you can stay on top of things quite nicely here with the, um, with the profiles. Another thing that is quite handy if you want to adjust or if you're always using the same um, drawing tools or chart annotation tools, you can customize them. You don't always have to go to insert and then use uh, or look for the different um, charting tools. You can just click here on this uh, area right click and then you can go to customize and here you find now all the possible um, charting tools you can just click on one let's say we want to use the GAN fan more often then we go here to insert but we don't need um, the equidistant channel then we remove it and here are the ones that are active you can see that already here now we have the GAN fan and the other one um, the equidistant channel is now taken off we close it and you can see now this is available here we can use it right from the um, right from the menu, which is also very nice. Another thing that is always asked, how do you close partial profits or how do you scale in and out of a trade? Many traders don't know how to do this in MetaTrader, which is surprising. So let's open a trade here um, with a position size of, let's say, one standard lock. Doesn't matter. Um, so we want to enter a sell trade. You can see now we have a sell trade. And now we want to scale out. How do we do that? We can just click on this, uh, right click on the order here. You can see we have the order. Uh, we just click on it. If we can find it, then we go to modify. And now you can um, make a market execution. You say, okay, I want to close half of it, which is 0.5. And then here you can see this yellow button close the, the cell 0.5. And now we are only having a remaining, remaining position of 0.5. And that is basically how you scale in and out of trade. So again, right click on the order, modify, then you choose here market execution, you enter the volume here, uh, and then you click on close. Very easy and very effective way of handling your trades instead of, I see many traders, they just open multiple um, orders here and then they close them one by one, not very efficient. Also, we have one click trading in uh, MetaTrader. So you can see already when we hover over this um, platform or this level, you see now the text says drag to modify and we are in a sell trade. And if we move the, the level down now, you can see, oops, sorry, let me do that again. If we move it down, you can see now this will become the take profit. You can see here it's TP. It shows you to, to potential profit. It also shows you to pips or the pipettes in this case. And you can see if we move it down, you can see this is a very nice way of looking at potential profits or also the distance. Keep in mind, uh, a five digit broker gives you pipettes, not pips. The other way moves, uh, works the same. If we click on it again, drag it to the upside. Now it says SL, so this will be the stop loss because it's above current price. 
it's above the sell order uh, potential loss of minus 135 boom set you can hover over it and you get the same um, information once again the pips the potential profit or loss in this case and then this is how you um, can manage your orders nicely as well and that's basically it there are many more things so for example uh, let's try to add another indicator so here this is the indicator window let's say we want to use a MACD we click on the MACD hold it drag it drop it into the area here and you can see now the window pops up we can make some adjustments the length of the uh, certain EMAs that the MA is using we can change the colors for example levels and we can only ch also choose to only display it in certain uh, indicators and now you can see here's the indicator you can right click on it again um, if you want to change something then you go to the properties and now you can change whatever it is that you want to change maybe you want to have a different color for the um, histogram you want to change the thickness you can see now it looks quite different and that is then how you use the um, indicators you can also here go or uh, right click on your your template or your, your charts and then you have uh, this drop down you can see that here is where we enter our trades new order um, you can also choose to switch between the different uh, templates that you have created or if you want to create a new template you can save it as this one and then apply it to new um, new chart so you don't have to always uh, set your charts up um, from scratch again you can choose obviously to show volume and grid um, that is the basic features and functions if you want to see what did you put on your charts um, as an indicator you can click here indicator list and if I move it into the frame you can see here we have the two moving averages you can edit them or delete them directly here from this chart and now they're gone as well and that's it um, you have your terminal view obviously here you see a few things um, here the demo uh, statistics from this demo account you can see that commission swap whatever uh, you can have account history other things another cool thing is that once you have closed your trades you can find them again in account history here's a list and let's say you want to see where did you enter and what did the price uh, look like and this can be done you just click on this uh, trade you can see now once we hold this you can see something is active here in the mouse we just drop it in our charts and now MetaTrader has drawn it for us uh, so let's go to the front you can see this is then the trade um, which MetaTrader is drawing for us this would be the, this has been the entry here was the exit you can see here was our take profit order um, if you hover over it you get all the details take profit order at 116.779 here at the bottom in red this is your stop loss at 115.834 and this is how MetaTrader visualizes it um, it's very nice and comes in handy if you want to make um, past analysis of your trades or maybe if you just want to grab a screenshot put it in your edgewonk trading journal um, this is a nice way of uh, visualizing as well the different um, trades and have them or just go through them again another thing that um, we can talk about in this context is um, traders like to measure the distances and pips and in metatrader you can do that as well for example you can click on your mouse wheel and you can see now this crosshair pops up once i click now at here at this point and I hold my mouse button you can see now I have this line and it uh, the numbers change so now it says um, for example 0 and 600 roughly and this means that um, from the point where I clicked zero candles have we moved forward so if I move my, ca uh, my mouse a little bit to the right you can see now it's one because I moved one candle forward two candles three four five six so you can see for example you can measure how many candles from the trade entry to the trade exit was the trade it was 33 um, candles and the second number shows the pips or the pipettes um, since you have a five digit broker here in this case these are pipettes and you have to divide them by 10 to get the pips so in this case we were in this trade for 33 candles and we made 771 pipettes which equals uh, 70 um, uh, 77 pips so this is also very nice if you don't have a mouse if you trade uh, with your trackpad here's the crosshair tool again you can also just click ctrl and f you will get it as well and then you have this crosshair tool and that's then basically how you get started with a meta trader and this is how you can navigate around it 
Um, if you want to stay always at the most front, use this little green button. You can see it will now always jump back to the front. If you want to make past um, analysis of history, of course, you should unclick that because then you can scroll back through the time and also um, navigate through it without having it jump to the front all the time. You can switch between a line graph and a bar graph and candlesticks, obviously, as well. And here are the different um, drawing tools, which you can choose right from um, your your bar here and then apply it to your charts. I hope you found this helpful. You can use some of the things in your own trading. Again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'm very happy to help out.